The Iskubu hitmaker Genesis Gabriella Tina, also known as simply Gigi LeMay, was born on the 7th of July in 1994. She's a South African rapper, songwriter, poet and producer. She attended school at Dominican School in Johannesburg from 2001 to 2012. Gigi started writing poetry at the age of 11 years old. The skill of playing with words paved her way into the rap game at age 16. And so, we decided to talk about her. This is the story of Gigi LeMain. Gigi LeMain has gone far in the game with the assistance of names such as Scratch Beats Record. She managed to release her first mixtape very early in life. Her inspiration to do the music thing is said to be taken from the likes of Bob Marley, Brenda Fassi, and Tupac. Gigi LeMain was also the first teenage female rapper in the SA to be signed to a prominent label at the age of 16. Her background is believed to have molded her into the lyricists so many of us identify with. She's also lived in many different places around Johannesburg. Whilst moving around, she picked up different languages and mannerisms alike. Gigi has lived everywhere, literally. In Lanasia, Soweto, Larada Park, Yeovil, and boarding school for most of her life. Gigi has a couple of accolades under her belt too. She won Best Female at the South African Hip Hop Awards in 2013 and again in 2014. She's literally the first female ever to make it through the finals of the Spike competition too. Crazy. Gigi never ever stopped. She also won the Jack Scouse Challenge endorsed by Jack Daniels. Winners were treated to various prizes including a trip to Miami as well as the opportunity to attend the Miami Music Conference. She was signed as the first female under Bente Records, also known as MFE, family in 2013 alongside Pro Kid, Red Button, The Captain. She later parted ways to pursue some more growth with her career. She proceeded to win Best Female for a second mixtape titled Color of Rain. This was under the production of S.C. Mine. She's also the youngest award-winning female in South Africa with an accolade for Best Female at the SA Hip Hop Awards as mentioned before. We all know her though from a debut single Ice Cream produced by Mix Masters in March 2015 which reached 20,000 downloads in that first day. A follow-up remix of the Ice Cream featuring stable mate and mentor Kuli Chana was released and debuted as an official remix on Channel O in May 2015. When she was fresh out, she was about 20 years old and taken the country by storm. Her stage presence was crazy, charisma and really dope mature lyric ability. Fast forward a little and she finds herself in some tough spaces. She has some troubles with labels as things seem not to work for her in her favor. In terms of the big labels, Gigi was signed to Mabila and when that stable went bankrupt, she moved on over to Ambitious, a decision that many didn't agree with at the time, but she went for it. It was weird, everyone was talking really bad about the label, but as people were leaving, she was coming through the door. A decision that raised eyebrows for many of her die-hard fans. Months later, she announced that she was out of there, and now the decision we all saw coming. I guess everybody kind of always gets into ambitious, and they get out as quick as they came in. Well, not always, because it's always tough to get out ambitious records. Anyway, she dropped Job Woods, an EP that was reviewed by News24. And to be honest, that review was a little too hard on her. So we're not going to talk about it here. Anyway, we're all happy to have her back, doing a thing, after she ended up in hospital, of course, in the summer of 2018. She came back, bossed up, and pushed the bullies aside and started finessing her way back through the music again. Honestly, I'm glad she's back. She's a real one. So welcome back, Gigi. Okay, so we've listed a couple of special things about Gigi. For those of you that usually skip through the video, things you probably didn't know about Gigi Lemay. At one, just in case you didn't know, she's got a huge record with King Monata called Fofa. It's already hit 1 million stream. Big things for Gigi boys. A yeah, yeah, a yeah, yeah. Since we're here talking about big tunes, let's add another one. She's got one with DJ Abby Girl called Injabul. The record is a house joint with a subtle mix of pop and she's going in real hard. At number two, Gigi LeMain won the Jack Daniels Music Scout Competition, an event that paved the way for her career. At three, Gigi is a graduate, Dean's List student. The degree is for media studies, right up her alley. Gigi also has a couple of international acts that she would like to perform with, which include Nicki Minaj, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem. I'm not sure if she'll get the Nicki Minaj one though, because Nicki just announced that she's done doing music and she's going to focus on the family. Gigi is also a four-time South African Hip Hop Awards winner. 
poetic skills were developed at the tender age of 11, having a first poem titled Valentine's Day, published at the Poetry Institute of Africa under the anthology Fairy Tale Moon. In five years' time, Gigi would also like to see herself being one of the most recognized acts in the entire continent. That one for sure is something that's going to happen for sure. At nine, which is last but not least, she has her own show called the Gigi Gang Show, where she pulls together her favorite artists and turns a venue of her choice into a big party, usually in the hood, which is cool. Okay, so Gigi is a young, solidified female rapper, singer, poet, and songwriter from Joburg. Gigi is a rising queen of African hip hop, and she's already making a mark in talent. No, so shout out Gigi. All right, that's all I got. Don't forget to hit the sub button for more content. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the stories. DJ Honcho SA on Twitter, Honcho SA on IG. I'm out.